Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech with Divana and today we are starting a brand new series called the Kubernetes Zero Hero. This series is for everyone, whether you are technical or non-technical. So, an IT engineer, system administrator or someone who is planning to move into a DevOps role. So, this is a day one, so we are starting from a very basic. What exactly is a Kubernetes and why do we need a Kubernetes? and where does it fit in the real DevOps? So let's begin with a simple question. Have you ever deployed an application and it crashed due to a high traffic? Or maybe you had a free server but you don't know exactly where to deploy your containers, right? Or maybe your one server went down, your application just got a disappeared. That's where a Kubernetes comes in a picture. It's like a smart manager right who can uh, manage your entire containers right and it makes your your application will never goes down in case of the uh, scale up and uh, scale down it is just depend your uh, traffic so in a simple term a kubernetes is an uh, open source container orchestration platform now i know a uh, sound is a little bit technical but let me simplify it imagine you have a hundred of the containers and it's running a uh, part of your application but and you also you cannot manage them it up manually but a uh, kubernetes help you to deciding it where your container should run how many should run if it crash then how to restart and even uh, you can update without a zero downtime so it's uh, like a brain of the container world the words Kubernetes actually comes from the Greek word meaning a houseman or a captain of a ship. That's why a Kubernetes logo is looks like a ship wheels because it steers a container ship through the storm of the production. Now many people are confused in between Docker and a Kubernetes. So let me clear the things right now up. So docker is help you to creating a container and kubernetes is help you to managing those container at a scale so docker is a engine and kubernetes is a driver whose control that where that engine cause kubernetes was originally created by a google because google was already managing a billions of container in a every week so they donated it to a cncf and today the entire world is using it like a uh, netflix s45 to a uh, amazon right in a 30 days kubernetes 0 to 0 series we will go a step by a step and we will set up a pod and create a deployment services helm and ingress and everything so we will set up a full as Full stack application project on the Kubernetes. So we will go a step by a step. That's your day one. Now you know what Kubernetes is and why it exists. In the next video, we will start architecture of the Kubernetes and know what is a master node and API server and etc. So if you learn something today, so please like the hit button and subscribe to Tech with Divana. So let's meet in another video. Till then. Bye-bye.